Vertical tangents. Find the points on the curve x square over 25 plus y square over 9 equals to 1 at which tangents are parallel to y axis. Now when we say tangents are parallel to y axis, it means what? See, if you have your coordinate system like this and we say tangents are parallel to y axis, y axis is this, right? So that is a tangent parallel to y axis. That means the slope is undefined, right? So that means we are looking for points where slope is undefined. Kind of 1 over 0. Do you see that? Or we say that normal is 0. Or we can say normal is 0, right? Normal or perpendicular is 0. Either way, correct? So that is how we have to look into it. Now, undefined slope. So let's find the derivative, that means. So we are given a function, which is x square over 25 plus y square over 9 equals to 1. Now let's find derivative of for this function with respect to x. So derivative with respect to x. So if we do that, we get 2x over 25 plus 2y over 9 times dy dx equals to 0. Now from here we can find dy dx. We say dy dx is equals to minus 2x over 25 times 9 over 2y. Correct? So this could be simplified and we could write this as minus 9 over 25 times x over y. So that is the derivative dy dx. Now dy dx also gives us slope. So what do we need? We want dy dx to be undefined. And in this case, which is minus 9 over 25 times x over y, this implies that y is equal to 0, correct? Only then the slope will be undefined, right? So the point is where y is 0. So that is our solution. Now if y is 0, what is the value of x? So let's substitute y is 0 in our equation and find x, right? So we get x squared over 25 plus 0 over 9 equals to 1 or we get x is equals to so this is 0 25 times 1 square root so we get plus and minus square root of 25 and that is plus and minus 5 right so that gives us the point right so that gives us the point undefined slope at at point P which is plus minus 5 so there are two points and the y value is 0 so it is basically the x-intercept right so that is our solution now how do we really check it whether this is right or wrong now as you know this equation is of ellipse if I put y equals to 0 I get x squared equals to 25 which is plus minus 5 so we, let's say these are my points as minus 5 and plus 5. Let me make this point itself as 5, okay? And uh, if I put x equals to 0, I get y equals to plus minus 3, kind of like this. Do you see that? Now if I join these, I get ellipse, which is kind of like this. Correct? Okay? So that is my ellipse, okay? Now as you can see from here, the vertical tangents are indeed at x-intercepts. Do you see that? And these points are plus and minus 5. So that is the solution for the given problem. So if it is an ellipse in a general form, which could be x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals to 1, now you know at its x-intercepts we'll have vertical tangents, undefined slope, and at y-intercepts we'll have horizontal tangents, zero slope, or the tangent will be parallel to x-axis. So I hope that makes things 
absolutely clear. Thank you and all the best.